Now, after relaunching scooters and e-bikes almost a year ago, the city of Dallas wants to make more changes. So tonight, they want to hear what residents and business owners think about the return of the sometimes controversial scooters. Our Larry Collins is following that story for us this morning from the newsroom. Hi there, Larry. Good morning. Yeah, it was May of last year. The scooters came back to Dallas. This was after the city canceled the scooter program in 2020 because of safety and clutter concerns. Now, according to city records, since the relaunch, the city's actually issued a warning to the three scooter companies telling them they needed to improve the rate of compliance with the rules. And the city will reevaluate the technology used to detect and prevent sidewalk riding. Now, in the three-month review, review period, Dallas received more than 1,200 scooter-related complaints. Most came from downtown, uptown, and Deep Ellum. The city says those numbers are now down, and they hope to add more docking stations in the high traffic areas to keep scooters off the sidewalks. There's also a proposed change of the time of operation, as well as the curfew. Rentals would be able to start at 5 in the morning, the last rental starting at 8.45 at night with the scooters needing to be off the roads by 9 p.m. All those changes are set to become official on April 20th. Now, meanwhile, the city of Austin is actually looking to scale back the number of scooters allowed on their streets. They're looking to drop the number of scooters in the city by 2,000, possibly getting rid of e-bikes altogether. The concerns, well, they're familiar. Safety and clutter. In the newsroom, Larry Collins, NBC5. Larry, thank you. And Dallas is holding that public hearing at City Hall from 530 until 7.